It's Tuesday, April 16th. You're listening to your Florida Daily. I'm Katrina Scales. Days after a woman is carjacked at gunpoint in Seminole County and likely murdered, investigators say the case has taken a bizarre turn. Last week, 31-year-old Catherine Aguas Vivas was attacked and kidnapped at gunpoint at an intersection near Winter Springs. Her SUV was later found in Osceola County on fire with a body presumed to be Catherine inside. Now deputies say the rare 2002 green Acura captured on video being used by the carjacking suspects is tied to another murder. A tow truck driver was shot to death in Orange County last week, and investigators say the bullets found at that scene are the same 10 millimeter bullets used to kill Catherine in Osceola County, although her body has not been positively identified yet. Here's Seminole County Sheriff Dennis Lima. Uh, At that scene, a green vehicle matching the description of this green vehicle uh, was located. One of the rounds found at the scene were 10 millimeter rounds, which is, again, uh, an incredibly unique and uncommon round for us to see out on the streets. And this is where it gets really weird. This is right out of a television show, right? A lot of bizarre circumstances here. Catherine's husband and brother agreed to drive up from South Florida to speak with investigators. And along the way, the two men reached out to a mutual childhood friend who happens to be the wife of an Orange County deputy. As they were traveling up here to Seminole County, uh, Miguel and Lewis reached out to a mutual friend, a childhood friend, as it's described, who happens to be the Orange County deputy's wife. The deputy uh, then picks up the phone. Uh, calls our detective and gives a false name and identifies himself as a detective with the Orange County Sheriff's Office wanting to get information about this case. In addition to that, uh, we knew that the Orange County deputy and wife uh, accessed illegally uh, the Florida David system and pulled, pulled up the unique characteristics, home address, photographs, signatures, of our primary detective working the case and all of the communication between the Orange County deputy uh, and our detective working the case was then recorded, all communicated back uh, to the decedent's husband uh, who was on his way here. You heard Sheriff Lima Wright. He says that deputy, 33-year-old Francisco Estrella, pretended to be a detective with the Seminole County Sheriff's Office to get information about the case, which he relayed to Catherine's husband and brother. Deputy Estrella now faces five felony charges. The men who carjacked and likely killed Catherine Aguas Vivas have yet to be identified or found. Catherine's reason for driving to Central Florida from Homestead and how the carjackers got their hands on that green Acura are also puzzling investigators. Anyone with information about this car or the people involved are asked to contact Orange or Seminole County detectives. And big news for the Boeing Starliner. It's set to be rolled out to the launch pad today, just weeks before it'll lift off with two astronauts on board for the very first time. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams will be on the spacecraft, which will sit atop a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. And we only have to wait three more weeks. The crewed flight test is targeting a launch date of Monday, May 6th at 10.34 p.m. You can find these top stories along with breaking news, weather, and traffic all day on ClickOrlando.com. And now, a completely random Florida fact. Up in the Panhandle is the largest diving facility in the state of Florida. Vortex Spring serves as the entrance to a massive underwater cave system that's popular with experienced divers. Vortex Spring is also the site of more than a dozen deaths of cave explorers. At the entrance of the cave is a sign depicting the Grim Reaper, which warns certified divers of the dangers of continuing onward. 
In 2010, a man named Ben McDaniel disappeared and is believed to have drowned inside an inaccessible part of the cave system, though his body was never found. Your Florida Daily is produced by News 6 WKMG in Orlando. I'm Katrina Scales. Subscribe for new episodes wherever you like to listen.